Good evening, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist with the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 1022 in the evening on Sunday, May 9th, 2021. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, and uh, let's get to the uh, forecast here for California. All right. This is the forecast for May 10th and May 11th. It's uh, the risk is in the northwest part of California. A 4.0 is possible in the northwest part of California. 5.0 is possible offshore here, Eureka, on the 10th and the 11th. And then the 11th into the 12th, um, the risk is from northeast California, from around Reno and South Lake Tahoe, down the San Francisco Bay, down to Santa Maria. And that's uh, what is 75, 80, 85 to 90% risk. So very high risk from uh, Reno and South Lake Tahoe to San Francisco down to uh, northwest of LA near uh, Santa Barbara, Santa Maria, King City, Coalinga on the 11th and 12th. <clears throat> and then on the top of the page here, the 12th into the 13th, we're looking for a strong earthquake. We still don't have all the data in yet, but uh, tomorrow we should have the newest data. And we're looking for a strong earthquake down here uh, near uh, Los Angeles, down to uh, San Diego, most likely around the Los Angeles area on the 12th into the 13th. So we'll have more details on that tomorrow. Then again, uh, the 10th into the 11th, Northwest California, the 11th into the 12th, Northeast California to San Francisco to Santa Barbara, that area, Coalinga, and then the 12th and the 13th down near Los Angeles, where a strong earthquake is likely on the 12th and the 13th. <clears throat> Let's take a look at uh, the Anchorage, Alaska forecast. Right now we have a risk area over here uh, in eastern Alaska. And uh, the 8th and the 9th, mostly down here near uh, Sand Point. And then the 9th and the 10th, same area down here near uh, Sand Point. And south of Juneau, 10th and the 11th. Uh, right centered around Sandpoint there, about 75, let's see, 55, 60, 65% risk there. And over near Juno, same thing, about 65% risk there. And then the risk gets a little higher here near Juno on the 11th and 12th. And the same thing, 11th and 12th, uh, high risk, a very high risk near uh, Sandpoint on the 11th and 12th. All right, what else do we have here? Hawaii. The risk is in the northwest right now, and same area, um, very high risk on the 10th and the 11th in the north or the western or the northwestern part of Hawaii. In the Washington, Oregon, and Idaho area, it's offshore here on the 10th and the 11th, and the 11th and the 12th is kind of here in uh, southeast Washington state and northeast Oregon is high risk there. And Athens, Greece. Right now, the risk is kind of, um, you get a strong earthquake here, southwest, southwest of uh, Athens. 5.0 is likely during the next 48 hours in that spot, west, southwest of uh, Athens. There's another model, forecast model that says right up in this area, north of Athens. So I think this one is a little bit more accurate. We'll see what happens, but a significant earthquake through the next 48 hours, either west-southwest of Athens or up here north of Athens. And in Central America, the risk is over Guatemala right now. And then it goes offshore Guatemala and El Salvador, southwest of El Salvador on the 9th and the 10th. The 10th and the 11th, pretty quiet. 11th and the 12th, just a moderate 55% risk over Honduras. And the Caribbean, a uh, pretty high risk over Puerto Rico right now. And then the risk diminishes after that, kind of a moderately high risk here in the Southern Lesser Antilles on the 11th and 12th. And in Chile, 8th and the 9th, uh, that's about where we are right now. So La Serena, just east of La Serena is the uh, very high risk right there. And, uh, and then very 
uh, south of this, uh, Santiago Chile is right here. So uh, I believe this is Concepcion, or Concepcion right here. This is a uh, high risk down there. Ninth into the 10th, uh, that risk diminishes. Uh, let's see, I thought the other one was, oh, that's the 8th and the 9th, 9th and the 10th. The risk is down uh, south of Santiago, Chile. Uh, south of there is a high risk. 10th and the 11th, southeast of Santiago, Chile, and south or west, southwest of Santiago, Chile is high risk there. You can check out these maps at quakeprediction.com, and you, I'm sure you know where you live on this map if you live there. And then on the 11th and the 12th, the risk uh, increases quite a bit here um, near, near Santiago, Chile, just uh, southwest of Santiago, Chile, right there. All right. And then uh, Croatia's forecast. Well, that's just didn't update that. We need to update that. Um, Cyprus, here we go. So the uh, Turkey and Cyprus forecast, we have uh, high risk up here in the northwest part of Turkey uh, on the 9th and the 10th, and high risk on in the northwest on the 10th and the 11th, and then kind of moderate risk, moderate risk across central Turkey on the 11th and 12th. And Ecuador and Peru. The risk is in the far south, and here's Lima is right up in here, so south of Lima, southern Peru right now. The 9th into the 10th, that risk kind of moves offshore. The 10th into the 11th is kind of centered here, 80, 85% right over Quito, Ecuador. Uh, 4.5 is possible in the Quito, Ecuador on the 10th to the 11th. And then uh, west of Lima, there's a high risk offshore there. 11th and the 12th is the most significant forecast. And this uh, area here offshore in, in west, western and southwestern Ecuador could produce a 5.0 larger in that area on the 11th and 12th. And in Salvador, Guatemala, we've looked in, uh, we haven't looked at that yet. Um, Indonesia, the risk is uh, south of the island of Java here. Jakarta is right in here, so south of the island of Java on the 10th and the 11th. 11th and the 12th is also south of Java and in the eastern Java. I believe we just got an earthquake. Yeah, uh, in that area as well. This earthquake here, 4.6 was uh, southeast of Java, which is right about in here, this high risk area here. So that's where the risk is right now, the 11th and the 12th. And uh, Italy is uh, the risk is down in the southern portion of Italy right now. And then the 9th into the 10th, northern Italy. And then on the 10th into the 11th, it looks like it's centered over near Zagreb, Croatia on the 10th and the 11th. And the 11th and the 12th it kind of is in the far north part of Italy and Croatia. Please be sure to check these maps out at quakeprediction.com for a much more detailed uh, look at all the different maps. Here's one uh, of uh, Japan's forecast. Right now it is about two in the afternoon on the 11th of May. So we're at the end of this forecast. So the risk is right now in Iwate Prefecture, just north of Sendai and near uh, Morioka. Morioka. And then on the 11th and 12th, the risk is more significant up in that same area, Iwate Prefecture, up into Hokkaido uh, on the 11th and the 12th. Lima, Peru, we already looked at that forecast. New Zealand, this risk is centered uh, northwest of Wellington. You can see this risk here in northern uh, New Zealand. This could produce a 5.5 earthquake. Uh, the 10th into the 11th. So let's watch for that uh, very significant risk there in Northern New Zealand during the next uh, 36 hours. And then in Northeast New Zealand on the 11th and 12th. Philippines, the risk is in the far South. And same thing on the uh, 9th into the 10th down here in Southwest uh, Philippines, the 10th into the 11th. 
is the most significant forecast. And that could produce a uh, 5.0 to 6.0 as possible in Southern Philippines on the 10th and the 11th. 11th and 12th, the, the risk begins to diminish. So the uh, 10th and the 11th, looking for a strong earthquake in Southern Philippines. Taiwan has a risk up here in the Northeast uh, Ryukyu Islands on the 10th and the 11th, and it diminishes after that. So something up in here on uh, the 10th and 11th, Taiwan. All right, one more map here, Turkey. Oh, we looked at that already when we looked at Cyprus. So yes, Northwest uh, Turkey uh, during, it, during the forecast period and then Central Turkey on the 11th and 12th. All right, let's go back to the Los Angeles forecast again. One more time, the uh, risk, is get, risk is in uh, Northwest California where a 4.0 to 5.0 is possible in the Northwest on the 10th and 11th. The 11th into the 12th, here's a significant uh, forecast here. A 4.0 to 5.0 is possible in the area from Northeast uh, California, near Reno and South Lake Tahoe, down to San Francisco, down to Santa Barbara in that area, Coalinga, 4.0 to 5.0 is possible. And then on the 12th into the 13th, looking for a very strong earthquake, 5.0 larger, in the area from Santa Barbara, Santa Clarita, Northridge, down to Los Angeles, down to San Diego, and the Salton Sea, this area here. <clears throat> that could produce a 5.0 earthquake or larger on the 12th into the 13th. <clears throat> All right, thanks so much for stopping by today on Mother's Day, and uh, please stay safe, everybody. It looks like in California, the risk is gets really high on the uh, 12th into the 13th near Los Angeles and the 11th and 12th from Reno, uh, Nevada, down to South Lake Tahoe, down to San Francisco Bay and Santa Barbara on the 11th and 12th. So uh, look over at quickprediction.com for more details and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, we'll talk to you uh, tomorrow evening. Stay safe everybody and uh, God bless. And we'll talk to you uh, tomorrow, um, Monday evening at uh, May 10th. Thank you.